What's up guys, it's Scott from Fly Rides. We're back today with another two minute tip. This is going to be all about safety. It's just how to do a quick safety check before you start riding. Shouldn't take you any more than two to five minutes to go over everything you need to look at to make sure you're riding safely out there. So let's take it over to Hector and he'll show you how. Hey guys, Hector here with another two minute tip and this is all about safety. So the first thing you wanna do is just check your brakes. Uh, safety check starts off with the front, making sure that the, first of all, the axle is nice and tight. You can do that by releasing it and then making sure it's nice and tight as such. Once it's locked up to the front, pick up the front of the bike, spin the wheel forward, and then make sure the brake is applied fully. You should make sure that there is a nice gap between the grip and the brake. Otherwise, you're not gonna have enough uh, torque behind that lever to stop. Next thing you wanna check if you, with your e-bike is make sure that it powers on. You can do so by turning it on and off from the top and toggling between all uh, power options. This Bosch has four power options up to turbo and you can also bring it all the way back down. Once that is all done, we can check the shifting, making sure that the derailleur in the rear is nice and straight whenever you shift from one gear to the next. Obviously you're gonna be doing this while pedaling um, you, so while it's stationary, only do one gear at a time. Next thing you want to check is your drivetrain. Make sure that's nice and firm. You can do that by holding on to both cranks and shaking it. And you could also see if your brake pedals are in, or sorry, your pedals are installed fully and correctly. And that's nice and tight there as well. Lastly, you want to check the rear brake and it's simply again, like how you do it with the front, you want to lift the rear, spin the bike, the wheel forward and then push the brakes down again showing that there's plenty of space between the lever and the handlebar and that's basically it well i don't know about you guys but i am feeling safer already like this video subscribe to this channel so you can keep up to date with us leave a comment below let us know what tips you would like to see to help you improve your e-bike experience we'll see you guys next time